Hey everyone, it's Lisa Bonjean from Primitive Gatherings and today I have the honor of showing a trunk show of Jill Shawless's newest book from Martingale and it's called Yellow Creek Quilt. And that is the name of Jill's shop. And I have known Jill for a long, long time. She is in Pearl City, Illinois, if you wanna go and visit her shop. But I've been around Jill all these years with the quilt shows and I just love her work. She's very prolific and she does beautiful things. So her teaming with Martingale is perfect. So let's go through the quilts. All right, so I'm just gonna go page by page. And this book is actually dedicated to Jill's mother. I thought that was sweet to read about how she taught Jill everything when she was young and then later on they took a quilting class together. So I'm very jealous that you have your mother to stitch with. So, all right, let's do the first one. It's called Cross My Heart. It is 34 by 34, nice size wall hanging custom quilted and Jill also has a fabric line and we will put all of that information in the description of this video okay blocks for Knox that's kind of a catchy title I love how she uses the salvage with her name on it I get that Jill I want to see my name on salvages too super exciting all right, so this, I believe, is 57 by 66. Look at how those morning print grays make a great neutral. So these are all based on like vintage reproductions. That's what Jill does for her fabrics. And that gray is actually a morning print. So the ladies back in the 18 and early 1900s would wear those grays and blacks when they lost their loved one and were in mourning. There's a couple wool projects in Jill's stuff. So perfect. This is eight by eight. It's called Mom's Garden. Isn't that great little cute for all the little clipboards or the wood stands that we make here at Primitive Gatherings? super fun i love that she created and put some wool in there because wool and vintage stuff all kinds kinds of go together right all right next is another little quilt 24 by 30 ian song there you go this one is just simply meandered now jill's fabrics is from robert kaufman that's who she designs for Yellow Creek Quilts, again, is the name of the book, and Jill's Design Company. We all love those half square triangles. <laughs> From Eden's Garden is a runner, and it is 12 by 34. Ooh, let's just go this way. Custom quilted, I'll show you the back. You can kind of see the quilting really good there. She also does that big binding. That's a Kim Deal thing. All right. I love those. I love little runners. I don't necessarily like big runners, but I love skinny runners. But the big runner covers more of your table, right? Okay, Cade's Crossing. This fabric looks so vintage. Now this one is 20 by 23 perfect for your mini quilt wall not too big i still consider this mini and the finished units one and a quarter finished so not too small but small enough to be considered mini a second crossing so beautiful star blocks on point. I love how they collide. This one is 23 by 29. So see how these are sharing parts from the other blocks? Pretty interesting. 
This looks like a pantograph. I'll show you the back on that one. Beautiful deep purple if you love that ready purple. Around town. Now this one looks like a granny squares. My mom had one of these on her couch as a kid growing up. You know those Afghan all different color scrappies that one of her friends made for her. So this one is called Around Town. It is 51 by 63. It is beautifully cross-hatched. I love making those blocks. Again, and the photographies in this book are just so beautiful, how they lay everything out, show you pictures of where they were taken. This is on a porch swing. There's a really cool one back here. Look at how staged and beautiful everything is. I'm not going to show you all of them because part of getting a new book is looking at all the pictures and how they stylized with the quilts. All right, Superstars is right behind me. So this is 70 by 70. And I love the random of the half square triangles. Maybe those were left over after making them. And then she also has a 29 by 29 mini. So maybe the big quilt isn't for you. You can just do a little one. These are nice to give away as gifts. Don't take as long. So two quilts for superstars, one big and one small. Ooh, I think I like this one. This one might be my favorite. Hadley Bell. Look at how beautiful this vintage pink goes with that gray. This is 29 by 29. And again, if you really like this, you could make this into a big size bed quilt. Just add more blocks. So just because it's shown as a little quilt, remember, that doesn't mean that's the size you have to make it. Yes, you have to adjust your fabric requirements if you're going to make it bigger. And hopefully you can figure that out or visit your local quilt shop. They probably can help you. All right, Boston in Bloom. I, re I really like this one too. So this last one here is called Boston in Bloom. It's eight and three quarters by 12. And this fits perfectly. I got to show you how they style us because we have some of these here in stock at Primitive Gatherings. She has it shown on this galvanized clipboard. So we will link those in the description so you can order one of them if you have to have one. I think they're fairly reasonable. I don't know the price offhand. This surprised me. I don't look at a trunk show before I talk about it. So I'm kind of seeing it. I kind of like flip through the book and then I want to see the quilts for the first time when I show you. So we're seeing them both together for the first time. And then I get a nice organic look at what is done. So if you love wool applique like I do and love mixing it with your patchwork, think of this in multiple blocks as well. I love it. And this is quilted by machine. She just went around the appliques. But again, another great little project if you just need to work on something else for a while. Maybe you're working on a big long project and you want something just to, you know, give yourself a little fun. Something like this just fills that gap. Or again, if you need another gift. All right, so that is the trunk show for Yellow Creek Quilts, Jill Shawless's book. She's a Robert Kaufman designer, if you didn't catch that. And get yourself a copy of this book. We have it here in our store. And make sure you go visit Jill and her company online as well. All right, until the next trunk show, thanks so much.